men are not women okay this sounds so freaking stupid to even have to say this but men are not women they think differently and act differently their motivations behind the things that they do are not what you think the main problem comes in when women expect men to behave think act and like women would so folks today's video is about 10 things all women should know about men hi i'm firdaus mudassir and welcome to my channel One quick example of this is how women like to talk a lot and this is the main way we bond. This is not how men bond. Men bond with others by doing activities with them. Talking is not really required. So if you are expecting to bond with your man by talking, it's going to backfire. Now of course you are going to need to actually communicate with any man that you are in a relationship with. But less is more. Save your long-winded, deep philosophical conversations for the females in your life. Just like this, in today's video, we are going to look at ten things that all women should know about men. Number one, the best way to change a man's behavior is not by nagging him, but rather appealing to his deepest sense of virtue. If you tell a man that you want him to accomplish a particular task and then address your needs as specifically as possible, he will more than likely accomplish the task however if you simply complain that he always or he never or he can't do such a such thing he might just slink away in despair and ultimately tune you out altogether instead try a slightly more positive and inspiring approach do not repeat what he has not done ever rather tell him what you need him to do and how much that would mean to you As much as women might like a man to figure out this on his own, she must on occasion swallow her pride and tell him exactly what her heart desires. I know, I know, this is not exactly the most romantic advice in the world, but you know what's even less romantic? Becoming bitter because a man never seems to figure out what you really want. This way he may eventually learn. Moving further, men have super fragile egos. I should have probably started off with this one because it's so important to keep in mind when dealing with any man. Even the slightest hint of challenge at a man's masculinity can have him running for the hills. Remember that men are just boys, only bigger. Sometimes something so simple as stating the obvious could be enough to crush his ego into million pieces. Before you speak, you should think. Is it true? Is this necessary to say? Is this kind? You should add in there. Could he possibly take this in a wrong way? Sometimes we need to keep our mouths shut. I think so many women fail to realize how significant preserving the male ego is to the success of a relationship. Once his ego has been bruised, he has already got one foot out the door. Point number three: Men take their play as seriously as their work. The way a man analyzes sports, debates all night with friends, plays video games or engages in some other non-essential activity may seem on the surface to be the ultimate exercise in futility. But what you must understand is that a beloved sport team or some other personal project is not frivolity to him. Yes, in the grand scheme of things, this passion will not put food on the table. nor will it save the world but for him it represents a creative outlet that allows him to accomplish in a far more heroic way those deeds which are deemed essential you need not become a fan of everything that he champions but understanding what this represents to him may prevent you from perceiving it as another one of his pointless misadventures showing a little interest and curiosity in what your mate is interested in can go a long way even if their interest is completely perplexing to you like my husband's interest of making candles point number 4 men are competitive men are very competitive in fact they want to win he has to win or at least feel like he's got the edge over other men in order to get along better with your man you're going to want to be his biggest cheerleader and increase his chances of winning help him in any way that you can But hold on a second here. He doesn't ever want to compete with a woman. 
he's competing all day long with other men that's just what they do that's why so many of them play sports or watch sports it's competitive but when he comes home to you he doesn't want more competition what he needs from a woman is your unconditional love and support point number 5 men don't want to listen to your problems they want to fix them quite frequently when a woman wants to vent to a man about some problem or other the conversation can take on a bit of who's on first quality while a woman is looking for a little commiseration he is looking for a solution ironically by the end of the conversation the annoyance that has shifted from the original source of problem to the mutual misunderstanding of the spouses this communication breakdown can be resolved by simply recognizing that both sides need to expand their horizons men need to understand that their wives lady friends are not equations to be solved or rather problems to be fixed and women need to understand that complaining can only go so far and as great as it is to vent what would be even better is to having nothing at all to vent about point number 6 men are not great at multitasking men are genetically hardwired to be providers and were not given the ability to focus on more than one thing at a time that means that they were not given the same ability that women have to multitask this is not some sort of genetic defect ladies stop trying to make men into women this goes back to the very beginning of humanity where men were the hunters imagine the focus it takes to hunt and kill not to mention the pressure of having a family to feed if he can't make the kill he comes home empty handed and feels like a failure so men can only focus on one thing at a time if you're expecting your husband to take out the trash listen to how difficult your day was and help junior with his homework chances are that he is going to shut down and not do any of it point number 6 Just because a man is a little quiet doesn't mean that there's necessarily something wrong. It is good to encourage men to learn how to express themselves more. But that being said, you should not treat their silence as an occasion for concern. Men may be reserved when it comes to their emotions, but this need not always be treated as a kind of psychological dysfunction. In fact, Sometimes it is precisely what the doctor ordered especially in a situation that is already emotionally charged. Point number 8 men need praise. Men need praise just as much as they need food, sex and sleep. If a man feels like he is not helping you in a way, then he feels useless. Men are action oriented. They want to do things for the woman they love. What most women don't realize is that more than anything in the world your man wants to make you happy. If he can't make you happy then he feels like a complete failure. Any time your man does something for you you should go over the top thanking him and showing your appreciation for him. Positive reinforcement works better than negative reinforcement. What I mean by this is when a man does something wonderful make sure he receives adequate praise for it. Tell him how much you appreciate it. Tell him how much of a gentleman he is. Let him know that it made you feel so wonderful. When he does something you're not happy about, mentioning it and then dropping it is enough. Get it? Moving further to point number 9. Men need to know that they are needed. If you genuinely would like to know what a man needs to be happy, here it is. What I need to know is that you need me. and even more importantly that you want me to be heroic for you and that my presence in the world can make a positive difference even if there are men who make it worse so let me to do those little dumb things for you that make me feel appreciated for them like killing spiders as if i were taking on some brigand who had unlawfully entered the house it will mean more than you know We don't do all of those little acts of chivalry because we think you are weaker than us. We do them because we want to honor you. And with this we come to the last point in today's video which is men tend to underestimate their feelings while women tend to overstate them. The reason this is an important detail to mention is because it might help explain the radical difference in the way a man responds to a given situation and the way a woman does it. For example, if you prepare a meal for a man and he says something like that actually wasn't that bad, 
This probably means that the food was damn good. If a man says that the meal you cooked for him was damn good, then you may have just completely blown his mind. Hence, do not measure his sentiments based on a literal interpretation. He uses underwhelming words like actually and not too bad because, like Danny Zuzko in the movie Grease, he wants to appear to be keeping his cool even while giving you a compliment. By contrast, when a woman says something like you should definitely go out with this girl, she is really nice. The truth is, the girl in the question may be absolutely hideous. In fact, the more really she uses, the more concerns you really should have. So folks, that's it from me in this video. If you have liked this video and the other videos on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell icon. You can also follow me on other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. In case of any doubt, query or inquiry, make sure you write to us on the email ID given in the description box. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.